my brother Jimmy, you know. He was a young guy. In 1988, he died suddenly of a heart problem that they didn't know he had. He was two years younger than me. It just, uh, it changed everything. I've only had a couple of times in my life when I was carefree, like a period of a couple of years when I thought, you know what, I don't have really any responsibilities. I'm making enough money. I'm hanging out with my friends. I'm seeing these, these, here, these chicks here and those over there, you know, whatever it was. For a couple of years, I felt okay, which is very rare for me. And then he died, and I've never trusted happiness since. I have to really force myself to think that things are going to be okay in terms of worrying about my family or myself or what are my friends, whatever. Yeah, I've never been the same since my brother died. There's a melancholy in me that never goes away. I'm 50% happy and 50% sad at any given moment. And the only advice I can give people for when you lose someone uh, like that is you won't ever get over it. And the more you know that and embrace it, the better off you are. I don't want to forget my brother, and I don't want to forget what it felt like when he died because he deserves it. That's how important he was for, to me. So if I have to suffer, and if I have to be sad for the rest of my life, and if I have to be lonely without him, for, without his particular thing, his sense of humor, and what he brought to life, then uh, that's the way I honor him. You know, I'll be sad and melancholy about that forever, and I know it, and I accept it, and I live with it. But I think it's okay. I think it's okay to have all those feelings. And as an artist, that's where, that's where a lot of your stuff comes from. You keep honoring those people forever by singing that song or writing that movie or doing that part in the movie or writing a book or whatever it is that has a sadness and a melancholy and a fear in it. Those are the things that keep them alive whatever you put into your work or your family or your art.